Greetings, it's Nico. Long time, no tea taste testing. Ha, huh. I might be coughing a little bit. I stuck my head outside and it is snowing. It is cold. And it kind of took my breath away. But that's, that's normal. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, I'm apparently easily distracted. So, I have not been doing uh, any tea taste testing since January. The reason for that is on my other video, and I have a bruise. That's from my cat walking on me at night. Just, yeah. So we're gonna do this. I'm still working on this. Haven't touched it since January. Um, and I posted that video last week. So let's get into this. My mental health needs it, and I'm pretty sure we left off on day six. I will not be doing uh, green tea anymore. I, I cannot, I had a very bad reaction to it, unfortunately. Also didn't really 100% like it, but, I mean that flavor. But I had a very bad reaction, and I am pretty sure day seven, yes. I have never tried day seven before. It is Raja Oolong Chai, but I'm pretty sure I have this in a bigger package. So, yay. I really, I still really love the packaging. Okay, okay, let's do this. I'm planning on doing two teas this week, only posting once, of course, because it's for the Sunday post, but I'm planning on doing this twice. I gotta get back into my groove and my mental health back in check. So, we are doing it for mental health and I cannot talk all right, so this is obviously an oolong tea, oolong chai tea, and it has oolong, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, of course it does, of course. Chicory, interesting. Cocoa nibs, natural spicy cinnamon flavor, and black peppercorn and cloves. So it's gonna be spicy. I did like the last tea, I think, with several of these spices. I'm a little disappointed it's not pink peppercorn. Oh, I moved I moved a lot of where my stuff was in organizing. So my scissors have their own drawer with my my business card set up and tape and pens and washi tape. Very professional. Very professional. Oh, oh, oh. That's the Christmas tree shop scent. Cinnamon brooms. There is also, there's a deeper, muskier scent. Not not a bad musky scent, but there is a deeper undertone to that cinnamon. Okay. I don't hate it. Just wanted to look at it before you did. That is, that is what it looks like. Hopefully it tastes good. Um... Got the strainer. Dun, 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 dun. Haven't made myself tea in forever. I do remember I have to make sure that is. And also for mental health goodness, I have my cauldron back. I need it. Just makes me smile. I have my big honking mug. But right now, right now I need the cauldron. I had to, had to make it be able to hook. I had to spread it just, just a little bit wider. Okay. Oh, I didn't even, this is going to steep for five minutes. And the ideal steeping temperature is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what my water temperature is because I just bring my water to like, like a, a just before it starts boiling. I would say it's a pre-boil, but that's where I think like the bubbles are still sitting on the bottom of the pan and haven't risen yet. It's where like just a couple of bubbles are starting. Oh, here it is. And we have the rainbow tea kettle Oh, that I have backwards in my hand. All right. Down. 
Oh, I kind of like, I like it, um, the watered down set. It's still cinnamon, there's still that undertone of something, but it's a lot lighter. Alright, I'll see you guys in five minutes. Okie dokie, it has been five minutes. It smells kind of comforting. I know I'm sitting close, but that's because my chair is doing a dumb thing, and I don't feel like moving. I've actually balanced myself on it. I think a spring has come unhooked. Um, one of the ones that stops the chair from tipping too far forward. Right now it's tipping too far forward. Um, so I'll have my husband look at it when we remember to. It does just, it smells very cinnamony. Very, very cinnamony, cinnamony, cinnamony. Little container. Just. Yay, I didn't drip it on my leg. Huzzah. Oh, there I can put you right there. It is, it reminds me of uh, Big Red Gum. It kind of smells sweet like the Big Red Gum too. And, and that, like that, that darker, or heavier, muskier, I don't even know if it's the right description, scent. Alright, initial taste is not bad. Oh! Oh, the spicy! Oh, oh! Oh, the pepper, the pepper spiciness, it's, oh, it hit. Okay, so sipping it is not bad. I might look concerned, but it's it's not terrible. It kind of tastes like Big Red Gum, it does. Um, and that pepper, that the, the spiciness hit the back of my throat. But it's not awful. I've been sleeping with my mouth open the last few days, so my throat has been a bit raw. Um, but this is not, it's not bad. It doesn't taste bad, but it's peppery. It's, it's very peppery. Yeah, the pepper hits like, at least for me, it just hits right away. Well, you saw, you saw when I went to go blow, like it hits all at once. That's what I'm trying to say. Not right away. It hit all at once. Okay, so we're going to sweeten this. This is not bad. Honestly, just for plain tea, I would probably drink it. I wouldn't willingly reach for it if I had other options. But I'd probably drink it. It's not bad. It really isn't. That pepper... When the pepper hits, though... Oh my goodness. So I have sugar, one of my containers. We're just all about balancing right now because I have no counter space. None. Zero. I have a drawer open. <laughs> so bad. I have my crystal drawer open because I'm what I'm working on right now is using crystals. So I literally have a drawer full of different sizes, types, and shapes. Of crystals. Um, I'm just gonna eyeball this. I have a spoon. Oh, the spoon is in my lap. I am just gonna eyeball this and dump some in. And I know that might seem like a lot to some people, but eh, it's all right. Ooh, I did not put the lid on all the way. It's only partially closed. Okay. I have, I have made an order from another company. Shocker. Um, but it is a, a small business company um, for tea. And she sells dice and tea. And... Uh, 
she got mini dice sets in and that's what did me in. I was just like, that's it. So I got a sampler set of three from her and three or four sets of dice. And a little perfect measuring, it's supposed to be like the perfect amount measuring uh, for loose leaf tea a teaspoon measurement thing. So I got that too, because I thought that was really cute ever since I saw it. All right, I would make this just a little bit sweeter, but this sweetened is very nice. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say I have milk, but it's in the other fridge. It's, it's that way, that way, not up, uh, behind me. Um, but this is nice, this is not bad. It's not my favorite. It's not the worst, it's just kind of neutral. It's like solid five or six. Yeah, the pepper, oh my god. <clears throat> I don't really taste the cardamom. It's mostly cinnamon and then pepper that kicks you in the back of the throat. The ginger might also be helping kick it in the back of my throat. Maybe some of the cloves, I forgot there were cloves in it. But it really just feels like I took a pinch of pepper and like shoved it in the back of my throat, like black pepper. It's not bad, but it's not something I'm used to. Um, I also, if I was just dr like drinking this at a tea party, I would be having sandwiches with it. Something savory, not something sweet. It just doesn't, if like even the tea itself right now, sweet end, it doesn't lend itself to be eating for me with cakes or pastries or cookies. But I'd probably be eating like sandwiches <laughs> or a salad. It's weird, I like it, but I don't like that that kick but it's not bad like I'm not offended by it I'm not in love with it it is definitely a neutral tea and I, I definitely would say five to six not a four it doesn't dip into a, like lower neutrality so out of ten a five to six it's not too bad I will probably end up drinking this down a bit and adding some milk to it since it is an oolong chai tea um, it doesn't really taste overly chai-y, like that chai blend, it just, it doesn't taste overly chai. It's, it's very unique to itself, because it doesn't taste like just an oolong tea. But, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's weird. I'm not upset with it. definitely I'm gonna sweeten it just a little bit more but I will come back when I add some milk to it and do like a final thought thing I think it is about here I'm gonna let it come down to about a quarter just over a quarter full and then add some milk and I will talk to you very shortly I lied <laughs> I thought I was gonna just sip on this through like, I don't know, the next 45 minutes, and I didn't, I chugged it, I added just, just a little bit, I added a bit more sugar to it, and then I chugged it, because it tasted very good, and the sweetness helped neutralize a bit of the pepperiness, but not very much, because it's still <laughs> peppery in the back of my throat. So, I got up and emptied my tea kettle, and I added some milk to this beauty. Let's give it a go. Okay, that's just delightful. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, that tastes really nice. Um, granted, it is sweet, uh, but the milk it just helps everything harmonize. I would get this iced. I would definitely do this over ice as an iced coffee, or iced coffee, an iced tea. Um, just really nice. <laughs> it's a great surprise. Like it was okay with with a bit of milk and a bit of sugar. That's it's so delightful. It just tastes like a dessert now. And nothing is really like it's it is definitely cinnamon, but it's more of a subdued cinnamon. And I can taste the other spices. Is there nutmeg? Let me see. Maybe. 
No. Ginger, cardamom, chicory, natural spice, whatever. I thought it was nutmeg. I can taste other spices other than just the cinnamon and the pepper. It's balanced. I really like it. Still, I don't like it enough that I'm going to get a, a bag of it. I will be honest with myself. I think, like I said earlier, I think I have a bigger sample pack. And if I do, I will probably keep it. I'll put that in my keep file. And I have gone through all of my open, excuse me, packages to the ones that I've already tried and sorted. And I send some of them to one of my girlfriends in Florida. I send some to my mom. And then I will contact my sister-in-law because she likes drinking tea also. And I'm like, hey, I have these flavors. Is this in your profile? And I'll send them to her too. But this, yay. I, yeah, this with milk is very nice. I'm very pleased with it at the moment. I'm probably going to chug this and <laughs> get back to working. I only got two of the the four things done tonight that I wanted to do and I've been a bit lazy. This might just give me the little boost of energy I need to do the other two. Alright Elflings, I love you. Please stay happy, healthy, and safe. Please take care of yourselves and I will talk to you later. Bye! Mwah.